In 2024, Ukraine has carried out more than 7,000 strikes on the territory of Russia, according to CNN. It is noted that the most distant impact reached more than 1,700 kilometers from the Ukrainian border. Long-range drone strikes were aimed at military facilities, such as ammunition depots, as well as infrastructure facilities, such as oil refineries. CNN received exclusive access to one of the Ukrainian units of long-range drones, which is part of the main directorate of intelligence of the Ministry of Defense. Two people from the unit had the right to speak with journalists using only their call signs, Serge, the commander of the long-range unmanned aerial vehicle division, and Vector, the unit commander. Serge said that he personally controlled more than 500 drone strikes on the territory of Russia since its full-scale invasion of Ukraine. CNN representatives spent two days traveling around Ukraine together with the unit, preparing to launch more than 100 drones on the night of September 29 to strike Russia. At that time, one of the targets was a military arsenal in the village of Kotlobin in the Volgograd region of the Russian Federation. Or rather, a train loaded with recently delivered Iranian missiles. When the Ukrainian drones were heading to Kotlobin, Serge told CNN, we constantly make the enemy think about what they did in February 2022. They must understand that we are getting stronger every day and we are getting closer to our victory and their defeat. The first satellite images of the ammunition warehouse in Kotlobani after the strikes of Ukraine then recorded burned areas near the arsenal, but contained little evidence of strong explosions inside, which gave grounds for media assertions that the strike was amiss. CNN was also able to independently confirm, thanks to its own sources, that there was indeed a direct strike on the arsenal in Kotlobani. The CNN article also notes that long-range drone attacks are becoming an increasingly noticeable part of the Russian-Ukrainian war. While the ground war has become more exhausting, the air war is gaining momentum, and the main development is taking place in unmanned aerial vehicles. Despite the Russian air defense, the effectiveness of the attack can increase to 95%, with the permission of the USA to use Western weapons for strikes deep into Russia. Mandatory evacuation of civilians has been announced in Kupiansk, as well as in the neighboring Kondrashevskia, Kirilovskia and Petropavlovskia communities of the Kharkiv region. This was reported by the head of the regional military administration Oleg Senegibov on the air of the Ukrainian telethon. According to him, the indicated settlements are located quite close to the front line. The military situation is currently worsening. Due to the fact that we cannot ensure the heating season there, provide electricity, or provide humanitarian aid, Senegibov noted. He linked the need for evacuation with the ongoing shelling. Senegibov noted that at the moment there are about 4,000 residents left in Kupiansk, most of whom are elderly people. In addition, the Kharkiv authorities have decided to forcibly evacuate families with children from the Borovskaya community of the Izium district. According to Senegibov, there are 250 such families in the village. The head of the regional military administration added that evacuation measures will be intensified, since local residents are reluctant to leave their homes. As Senegibov explained, the evacuation is being announced due to the fact that Russian troops have approached the Oskol River, which partially flows through the territory of the Kharkov region. Kupiansk is located on the eastern bank of the river. According to the Ministry of Defense's report of October 14, fighting in the Kupiansk direction continues, Russian troops are advancing, occupying more advantageous lines and positions. In early October, the author of the Rybar Telegram channel, Mikhail Zvinchuk, reported that the Russian armed forces were continuing their offensive in the Kupiansk-Svatovsky direction west of Peskinoy with the goal of reaching the Oskol River. According to the channel, Russian assault groups are less than 4 kilometers from the riverbed, access to which will allow them to cut off some of the routes through which some units of the Ukrainian armed forces are supplied. In the first days of the military operation in Ukraine, Kupiansk was occupied by Russian troops. In September 2022, 
the city came under the control of Kiev. Fighting in this direction continues. Ну, 